Well, good morning, everyone, and I think you can guess where I am, out in the boathouse, next to uh, good old Bessie here. <laughs> and I uh, oddly started calling our stove, which she definitely is a she, I started calling her Bessie just as a joke. And then um, we realized, of course, that the matriarch of Bunny Hall, Bunny, um, her mother was called Bessie. And uh, we talked about her a lot when we first came here. We have a lot of old photographs and things of hers so it just was funny that just sort of came to us so Bessie is happily placed here and uh so many comments and again I love comments I, one of my favorite parts about being on YouTube is being able to interact with everyone because being somewhat of an introvert I happily spend quite a bit of my time alone however it's nice to interact with people and um I just love uh being able to interact through the comments it's such a great way to kind of get a kind of bounce ideas off and also to get to know everyone a little bit better. But uh, it seemed to be predominantly everyone agrees that we should keep Bessie out here in the boathouse. And I totally agree because I really think I want to go forward with uh, having fun trying to make over this little apartment into the autumn and into the winter. I think it's going to be a great project to kind of counter point or a counterbalance to doing my artwork so and as uh, you know as the garden time starts to ebb as well as winter comes I'll probably be happy for that as well now I was going to unpack the, the stove today so I could show you in all its glory like right right here you can see it's lovely buttons on it has beautiful knobs bakelite knobs and it has a lovely little backsplash with little electric outlets and a timer and a clock it's super adorable but I don't want to unbox her now I want to keep her safely I haven't even untaped her front yet I want to keep her safely taped and tied up for now un until we start addressing the rest of this place so I thought for today I could um we could pick a little section this is a very the boathouse itself is rather large but this little apartment is basically like almost a studio apartment I'm kind of like a tiny house because it's basically just one room with the bathroom and uh, I thought we could just take little sections and start tidying and thinking about what we want to do before I even get to the point of where we can undo Bessie's bindings take her out of her stays as it were so I thought today we would do that oh and then I also think I'm going to share a, a bit of a sketch today and that is based on what other people have also said in the comments from the last vlog everyone seems to think that our little hedgehog for Lalan does deserve her own page and I agree so um, I'm not sure how much I'll have done because again between Monday and Wednesday I don't have a lot of time to do things and then film it and then edit it but I'm trying so whatever level of sketching I have done today um, and can edit this evening will be on this vlog you're currently watching um, but that way I can share a little bit more of another idea I have going along with the hedgehog being on her own page so I thought so lot to start out now let me grab the camera and I'm going to turn it around I'm going to take just a little section maybe this section here by the window and uh, that used to kind of be like sort of the dining room mini sitting room area when we stayed here um, and I haven't tidied anything at all because I want you to see in, in its current state and I figured that would be more fun for us to see like with really detritus and garbage piled up uh, then once we ever get to the point where we possibly could make it a darling little jewel box of a hideaway it'll be more exciting to look back at these old images and think oh, a hoarder's paradise in here but uh, it hasn't been used as an apartment by us since probably about 2005 and then the grandfather who was in the house before we got to be here because the matriarch bunny passed away before that so the grandfather was not the best figure he's sort of a dark shadow on the place I won't get into it now but let's just say we had to clean out a lot of things from this room but the little bit of things that are left are things that we had and then it's my own fault that I've let other things pile up because I'd be working on a project outside I've moved my chickens to outside this part of the building and so I'd come in and I would use tools in here and I just left things piled around and things just piled up so let me stop talking about it I'll grab the camera and turn it around and I'll show you I'm going to pick this little section next to me to the right of me I'll show you its current horrible state and then um, I'll just do a quick little fast speed up tidying which is always fun to watch and 
I wish it were happening that fast in real life. <laughs> and just see how much little tidying we can do. Obviously, we're not making any big changes. I'm just going to try to make it look a little bit less like a garbage heap and a little bit more like a little cottage for us to play in. And I was thinking it probably is going to be really a fun place to share with all of you because we can kind of like sneak out here and have a cup of coffee and like play with paint colors on the walls and I'm designing wallpapers and things. So I'm really, I can really go crazy out here with different wallpaper designs I'm coming up with. Things I want to try out in the main house, but we could trial here first. So I think it's really going to be fun. Okay, so enough talking about it. <laughs> enough talking, let's start doing. So I'm going to grab the camera, turn it around and show you the horrible mess. And uh, then we can get started with today's vlog. So I thought I'd start with one of the best parts about the boathouse is looking out the window, you can see the sea. And of course, right here, you'll be able to see even more of the sea when I address uh, hedging this and taking this down, which I will do in a vlog. But for now, let's focus on the inside. So of course, next to our view, lovely view of the sea is we have amazing views of cobwebs. <laughs> so let me back up here. And to give us perspective of what we're doing, Here's sweet Bessie in her corner by the window looking near the woods and the little kitchen over there. We're not dealing with that today. Today we're just going to take a look here at this section where you can normally see the sea, but not with my current camera settings. And uh, so what my actual goal hope might be is once Bessie is in place, which I think she's going to go further into the kitchen a little bit, is I think I want to build a sort of half wall. And we used to kind of keep our table here and use this uh, as a dining area to sit at and study and look at the sea. But then at one point we also used it. We had a little sofa sitting here. But what I'd like to do is maybe build a little half wall with maybe a sort of built-in bench. So it could be both a spot to sit in a comfortable seating area to read and watch the sea, but also have access to a table. But that's possibly down the road for now. Let's just focus on what we're going to do. So from where Bessie's sitting to the corner windows to this mess here, let me see if I can get this. So here is a table littered with, I mean, tools, mouse, repellent, you name it. It's on there. Art supplies, of course. And uh, <laughs> mixed on the walls are bits of old, old things that we had when it was our apartment, mixed in with random things just shoved here and there. Paint samples, of course. And then down to... Uh, there's a, a rolled up rug, an old fan. So maybe we'll go from about our little uh, 50s style settee, the dining table, over to Sweet Bessie. And let's see what we can clean up and straighten. Now again, this is just to organize a bit and feel like we have a good place to start. No painting or anything. <laughs> this is, uh, I do have to get this edited by tomorrow. All right, well, let's, let me set you up and let's get started with a time lapse.
So here we are after the tidy. We haven't done much, but we did a good clean, moved things around, cleared up the table. We moved the table into the corner for now, next to dear old Bessie. And this cabinet and bookshelf, which of course probably won't stay here, but for now, since it's here, we've tidied it up. Some good old books, some crystal, some tarnished old family silver. funny statue with a turkey feather in and of course all of this hideous 50s paneling will be painted or we'll do something with it and uh, I even found one of my treasures which is this big a whalebone my niece actually gave me when she was working with Audubon out on the beaches so and here we have the table with of course Cleaning the table off, polishing it, and putting a fresh bunch of flowers makes a big difference. And there it sits now, next to lovely Bessie. And again, it's not a big change, but now we feel like I've made the decision, I've made the move, and here we are tidying. There's so many potential and opportunities now. Wallpapers and painting and building and flooring, and it'll be fun. Uh, we'll have to do it possibly on the cheap, but we'll try to be... Yeah, we'll let ingenuity help us to make up for shallow pockets. All right, let's get on with the rest of, of the video. So today's sketch is showing our little hedgehog, and uh, as off many of you requested, we decided to go ahead and give her her own page. So on her page, I thought she would be working with uh, the dressmaker's dummy, obviously, which I kind of moved into the background. And then I thought, why not bring in one of Lalanne's sheep? So I brought in one, and then, of course, we have Ivy, who was Ian, with her hat on, and they're all deciding how to make the fabric to make Ivy's frock so that she can feel fanciful and full of color, since she isn't going to have the male plumage like her papa Thor. And does anyone happen to know, if you could leave me uh, notes in the comments, do you know if the hedgehog at Lalande had a particular name? And also, do you know if any of the female sheep have names? All right, well, that's today's sketch working on another Lalonde page. Let's get back to the video. All right, here we are. Uh, it took most of the afternoon to do this and <laughs> I wish it went by as quickly as it must look on the, the sped up bit, but of course it did not. And now I need to get some more sketching done so I can put that on this video as well. But I think just making this little move of just straightening up, putting, throwing away some trash, doing a quick little tidy and vacuum will really make a big difference to how we feel about this project. And I'm pretty excited about it. So um, I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like our little playhouse, our little jewel box. Uh, so we'll see what we work on next with it. We'll make it a proper place so Bessie has a proper home and a place that deserves Bessie. Well, thank you for joining me again here today at An Artist's Life, and I will see you next time. I'll see you in the chats, and I'll see you on Friday. Uh, remember to stay creative. Cheers!